Hello friends, welcome to C Programming Tutorials. In this class, we are going to learn some programs. Our course name is so Programming for Problem Solving in C. That means when you learn some topics, you are going to apply these concepts on the programs. Okay, so now we are going to see some programs regarding the concepts up to we learn. So coming to first program. Print hello world. That's it. So on the monitor, you want to print just hello world. That's it. Hello world. I want to print some message on the monitor. Which function I'm going to use? Printf. So this is the program. Every C program is starting with preprocessor headers. Hash include stdo.h. Next, every C program contains main function so void main in this main function you are going to write the code here our intention is you are going to print the message hello world on monitor so you can use printf in double quotation you are going to write the string hello world if you compile and execute this program the output is hello world second program print boolean constants okay so similarly first program Every C program starts with header file. Here, you are going to process some boolean constants. So, you are going to include std bull.h. That means a boolean header. So, you can write your code in main function. The main function structure is void main. So, you are going to declare two variables. One is x. Another one is y. So, x equals to true. So, true is nothing but 1 y equals to false that is 0 now you are going to print these values the values are percentage d percentage d x comma y so on the monitor it prints the values are after percentage d x this percentage d belongs to x second control string belongs to second variable so, percentage D means it displays 1, 0. Okay. If I want the space, then I use slash T. Then, after tab space, it prints 0. Okay. In this way, you are going to format the output. So, third program. So, print character values. So, print character values is nothing. For example, the character A. The value is 65. And similarly, the character A small a the value is 97 now i want to print these values for example i want to print capital b value then the capital b value is 66 small b value is 98 all the character sets have some ascii numbers these numbers we are called as a value of the character so how we can write so first assign this capital a to a variable and small a to another variable these two are the c and d that means the c variable contain the character a the d variable contains the character small a now i want to print these values ascii for carry what is the ascii ascii means american standard code for information interchange ascii for carry a is it print this message ascii for carry a is so after that so percentage d c what's the c character but here you are using percentage d control string belongs to int so instead of a it prints 65 here if you are using the percentage c here then it displays capital a and similarly ascii for carry a is percentage d int so it displays 97 okay another program so find area of a circuit so area of a circuit so if you want to write this program first we know how to solve this problem manually so area of a circuit so for area of a circuit we need the radius if the radius is so 2.13 then the area equals to pi r square that means 3.1416 into 2.13 into 2.13 okay so if we know this logic so how to find the area then only we can write this program here 
So find the area. So we need one constant that is pi. You can take this pi constant in three ways. One is by using the literal, by using the define, by using memory constant. How? By using the const keyword. Okay. In this program, I use define. So hash include str.h hash define pi 3.146. Here I am going to write the program to find the area. So I take two variables. One is the area, another one is radius. So I want to read the value from the keyboard. So I use scanf. Now you understand one thing. So printf scanf. So why I write these two instructions here? If you execute this program. Now if you if you are not writing this printf statement, then the cursor is waiting here. As a programmer, you know, this cursor is waiting to read the value of radius. But everyone not understands that. So why this cursor is here? To enter some data. So, so before reading the data, you are going to print some message regarding this data. Here the scan of the function is used to read the radius. So I print enter the radius of circle column now the cursor is here now by seeing this message i understand that here i am going to enter the number that is assigned as a radius that is assigned to radius variable okay so many students are think that so before scan of the printf is compulsory no so what is the purpose of the printf here this printf function is used to specify some message to display some message okay here i entered 23 now 23 is assigned into radius so radius equals to 23.0 why it is float number next you are going to perform the calculation area equals to pi into r square we get 160 1661.91 that is stored in this area variable so printf area is now it displays area is percentage f what's the area 1661.91 okay so in this way you are going to solve the programs for better understanding of this course you try to execute these programs on your computer